You're watching the Royal Rumble Part 4, and that can only mean one thing, the 30-man Royal Rumble match. The winner gets a World Heavyweight Championship match at WrestleMania. Right now, we're going to take a look at this whole matchup in its perspective. WrestleMania and it's finally here the Royal Rumble is live right now and it looks as if Jericho didn't get the luck of the draw he is number one Chris Jericho has been in a roll of momentum however tonight he would like to position himself to win the Royal Rumble tonight and go to WrestleMania and become world champion. That is the ultimate goal of everyone in this company, but none more so than Jericho. He has a desire and a determination to win, and that's going to help him here tonight in the Royal Rumble match. And maybe, just maybe, he can do the impossible and outlast 29 others to win this thing. It's not going to be easy if you're number one. Jericho knows that, but who's number two? Waiting. Well, Jericho's job has just been made a hell of a lot tougher. Chris Benoit is number two. We haven't seen Benoit in months, but he's back, and he's back in the Royal Rumble. So it looks like Jericho and Benoit are going to start this match. And maybe one of these two guys can eliminate each other early. It's going to put the other one in a greater position to win. And the 30-man Royal Rumble commences. And just go over the rules quickly. You're only eliminated when you're thrown over the top rope and both feet hit the floor. A new entrant enters every minute around that. As Jericho goes to work on Benoit in the early going. And now, oh, Benoit has a hold of him, has a hold of Jericho, and there's a German suplex. So 30 men in this Royal Rumble, you've seen the length of the video, it's uh, pretty long, but that's the Royal Rumble for you. And that's how long, if they're going to win it, that they're going to have to last in this thing. As Benoit tries to get Jericho, oh, he gets him over the top rope, but his feet have not hit the floor. You can go over the top rope, but if your feet don't hit the floor, you're not eliminated. And now Benoit, technical wrestler, he's got him up and a suplex down to Jericho. And there you see the countdown clock in the right, bottom right hand corner of your screen. Tells us we've got four seconds until the third entrant in this match. Who is it? Well here he comes, Paul Burchill, and I'm going to tell you right now it's going to be a fast paced matchup. Every man for himself. And now Burchill. Not been featured heavily on programming, but if he can perform well tonight, put him in a greater pedestal, if you will. 
in the company and now oh and he's got Jericho by the neck and the net breaker to Jericho but Jericho wisely hangs on to the bottom rope so there's no chance of him being eliminated and oh my goodness what a slap what a slap by Benoit with another chop to the chest Benoit he's vicious he's ruthless aggression and there's a headbutt and Paul Burchill is over the top rope already Benoit eliminates Burchill and Burchill becomes the first elimination of the Royal Rumble and oh what a drop kick great agility by Jericho the drop kick and now the kicks to the stomach and the fourth entry are going to come out now but Benoit's down and Jericho's up who's next well here he comes the hardcore champion a successful title defense earlier tonight however tonight would love to win the Royal Rumble and you see that chair in his hand oh my goodness right off the skull of Jericho steel chair shot hardcore Harley and there are no disqualifications in this match another chair shot to the back of Benoit this time hardcore Harley can bring out any weapon he wants as long as he doesn't get thrown over the top rope and now he's got Jericho he's gonna slam him down and he does and now Jericho He's close to being, no he's not, Jericho again hung, hangs on to the bottom rope, those are those veteran instincts. Harley measuring up Benoit, but Benoit turns it around and look at this, cross face applied, cross face applied by Hardcore Harley, to Hardcore Harley and he's tapping, however you can't win by submission, you have to throw him over the top rope. And oh, punched by Hardcore Harley, but Jericho with the chair from behind and a chair shot sends Hardcore Harley right over the top rope and he is eliminated if Jericho and Benoit can continue to eliminate the opponents they have well it's going to put them in a greater position but here comes Test I didn't think he'd want to show his face after what he did to Kane earlier betrayed Kane but he's out here to prove he can go it solo here in the Royal Rumble and he gets Jericho in the corner look at that face Benoit's down at the moment but Test is measuring him up and what a boot to the face and now Test has a hold of Benoit Jericho getting up in the corner Jericho and Benoit the longer this match goes the more tired they're gonna get as Test stretches Jericho's body across that top turnbuckle and look at this, what a throw by Test. Jericho and Benoit, like I said, the longer this match goes, they're going to get so tired out, and Test has taken advantage of that. Look at Benoit on the shoulders of Test. Is he going to go now? But Benoit reverses it, and it's Test going over, but he does not. But a close call for Benoit that time. And Test is dragged away by Jericho and a sharpshooter or a version of the walls applied to test he can tap all he likes but it's not going to help him and Benoit's got the cross face and now test is in a hell of a predicament but one second left who's next well here he is we haven't seen him in months either a nostalgia trip here in the Royal Rumble Tommy Dreamer is number six I don't know why he's not getting in the ring looking under the ring for something oh and he's got the table as previously mentioned no disqualification but he's got the table set up on the outside I can guarantee there's going to be plenty more surprises with this match as it continues of course and there's the patented Dreamer DDT Dreamer now with Benoit on his shoulders and now he's going to the patented Dreamer driver as he likes to call it and his test is hung up in the ropes Tommy Dreamer coming at him and what a drop kick like I said there are going to be more surprises as this night continues I've already recapped that later tonight Raven will be debuting in the Royal Rumble and also a couple of rivalries oh and look at this Jericho with a double bulldog a double bulldog by Jericho that time and everyone's down and the next person that enters the ring well it's Brian Kendrick 
he's got an easier drop. Since everyone's down. He can get some of those carcasses over the top rope, but what's he doing now? Brian Kendrick diving onto all of the bodies. Brian Kendrick making a huge impact as he just came crashing down onto Jericho, Benoit and Tommy Dreamer. As we check out the replay, look at this. Now, if Kendrick can get one of those men over the top rope, as he's doing now, look at Jericho. Jericho in a precarious position, but he clutches onto the bottom turnbuckle. And now Test is kicking the crap out of Tommy Dreamer. Dreamer's down, and so's Jericho. Jericho hanging on for dear life. Brian Kendrick after Jericho in the early part of this matchup, and look at that big boot to the face of Dreamer. Test ruthless he is. And look at Jericho kicking and screaming, holding on to the ring post and wait. Test has Tommy Dreamer, and what a power bomb! Number eight entrant going to enter momentarily as Test is the only one standing. Oh my! And this is not good for Test. Kane is back after being backstabbed by Test earlier tonight in that tag team championship match. As Kane makes his way to the ring, you got to believe he's out for vengeance. But look at Test putting his hands up. To be fair, you get all you deserve. Test is pleading with Kane not to hurt him, but I wouldn't blame Kane at all, but... Oh wait, what's he doing now? Why isn't he attacking Test? Oh, look at this. The strength of Kane has Brian Kendrick over his shoulders and he goes crashing to the mat. Kane eliminated Kendrick, but what... Oh, look at Test nodding. What the hell is this? I thought I saw him backstab Kane earlier. Oh no, don't do this, Kane. Kane chokes down to Dreamer through the table. And what is this? Why is Kane not attacking Test? He's just laid out several members of this match in the blink of an eye. Dreamer looking up into the stars. I mean, look at this chokeslam, the height he got, and crashing through the table. And don't tell me they've reconciled. They appear to be on the same page as they stare down Jericho and Benoit. I don't envy the man who has to come in next. Oh. Carl London, you just walked into a battlefield. This mastodon stare down. And, oh, Kane decks Carl London before he has a chance to even get involved in this thing. And now, Kane and Tess go after Jericho and Benoit, but I still don't understand why Kane is not taking his anger out on Tess. I mean, did I see it right? I think we all saw it. I'm sure the questions will be answered later. Maybe Kane's given Tess a second chance, who knows? And now Kane close to eliminating Jericho, but Jericho reverses. It's, he can use his leverage. Can he get Kane over? But Kane. Oh, and Kane reverses that into a power slam. And Jericho's down. Another entrant going to come in momentarily as Benoit works on the leg of Test. Who's it going to be? Entering this ring. And here he is. He lost the Hardcore Championship match earlier tonight. But I mentioned he could bounce back in the Royal Rumble. He's one of the favourites. Throws Benoit to the floor and now goes after Kane. And now look at the height he got on that. Just comes crashing into Kane. And what's he doing now? The handstand and a kick to the face of Paul London. AJ Styles admiring his handiwork, but Jericho up. Jericho now, is he going to put AJ in the walls? AJ's in trouble, but he reverses it. And sends Jericho down onto the mat. AJ Styles, it, oh wait a minute, now he's in trouble. Now he's in trouble, the beasts going after AJ. AJ hanging on for his dear life, he's got two monsters after him. Are they just buddies now, is that it? They're working together, but nevertheless, 
Number 11, The Miz, making his way to the ring. Has his eyes locked on Kane, but Bob Styles almost eliminated there by test. Oh my. Well, sorry Miz, but chokeslam to The Miz by Kane. Well, it's never his day, is it? Oh, wait a minute. What the hell is this? What the hell? Test eliminating Kane. I knew it. I knew something was up. Test seemed to manipulate Kane. He backstabbed him twice now. How dare he? And AJ from behind eliminates Test. Test paying for what he did. You backstab him once, you get a second chance, but you don't backstab him again. And now Kane's... Oh, he's pissed off. You don't want to mess with a pissed off monster. And that's exactly what Kane is right now. Kane Dex test, but what's he doing now? Oh my god, Kane! Crushes test between the ring apron and the steel steps. May this be a lesson for test. Meanwhile, Rey Mysterio is number 12. But test is going to learn not to mess with Kane and now Rey Mysterio on fire with a clothesline to Benoit and now he's going to attack everyone in sight oh and it could not be more perfectly positioned for Rey Mysterio to deliver a 619 and now he gives it 619 to Jericho Rey Mysterio hoping to bounce back as well after losing the Intercontinental Championship match to Del Rio earlier tonight Oh my oh my, look at Tess being brought on the stretcher. I can't believe the audacity of Tess to eliminate Kane. There you have it, the steel steps into the face and Kane is not done with Tess by a long shot, I can guarantee it. And now Miz attacking Rey Mysterio from behind. Is he going to get rid of Rey? But he overshots it. And Miz flips over to the outside and is eliminated. But who's number 13? Well, here he comes, Chavo Guerrero. Part of the legendary Guerrero family. And after losing to Rey Mysterio, episode 12, he wants to eliminate him, almost does, but Mysterio skins the cat, as it were. So Chavo Guerrero almost had him, but is he going out already? Rey Mysterio! Hurricane Rana to Chavo Guerrero, and he goes to the outside. Unlucky for Chavo to be eliminated so early on. Meanwhile, Paul London tries to eliminate AJ Styles and look at Benoit. Not that long into this match, and he's already feeling the effects of it. And now Jericho's got a hold of Rey Mysterio while AJ Styles clatches on to Paul London to try not to be eliminated. Oh, look at Jericho now. Oh, and look, the strain that has on Mysterio's back is incredible. What's he going to do now? Jericho. Oh, what a bridge. A beautifully executed bridge by Jericho to Rey Mysterio. And he's down on the map. Y2J in control now. He needs to be. And here comes number 14. One half of the NLW Tag Team Champions, R-Truth. And R-Truth gonna go straight after Chris Jericho and delivers a DDT to Chris Jericho immediately R-Truth making an impact in this matchup and now Benoit's gonna be in trouble he's gonna go after number one and two and that's great strategy by R-Truth to eliminate or try to at least Benoit and Jericho they are the weakest men in this matchup as AJ Styles almost eliminated Paul London he goes over the top rope Rey Mysterio clasping onto the bottom rope, but to no avail, Chris Jericho with the elbow drop. And now R-Truth going to go after Benoit, who is appearingly the weakest man in this matchup at the moment. It's AJ Styles with knees to the gut of Paul London. Look at this. Who's going to be number 15 to enter this mess? And here he is, Big Daddy Cool Kevin Nash, number 15. We are halfway through the numbers. 15 men have gone and 15 more to go. As Nash gets AJ in the corner. 
AJ beat Nash a couple weeks ago in that hardcore championship match but he's wailing on AJ and now Nash going to use his power to his advantage and the sidewalk slam and when looking at his physique you wonder who's going to be able to get him over the top rope if anybody and Nash going to crush R-Truth and Benoit in the corner and going to finish his rampage with a clothesline to Rey Mysterio Big Daddy Cool has to be one of the favourites considering his size and now going to make a statement to Paul London oh my goodness no jackknife to the stage what a massive jackknife powerbomb to the stage and Paul London is eliminated and almost had a broken back number 16 now Carlito going to make his way to the ring while Paul London arrives in pain on the outside and although it's every man for himself superstars do like to team up to have a greater chance of eliminating someone but Paul London you see there rolling around on the floor look at this jackknife powerbomb to the stage Nash asserting his dominance meanwhile while Carlito holds AJ Nash gonna deliver sickening blows to the back and now R-Truth going to work on Rey Mysterio and delivering some fierce punches to the face of Mysterio and now on the other side of the ring Nash with kicks to the stomach of AJ quick kicks Carlito has a gr great hold on AJ Styles but you got to get him over the top rope if you want to eliminate him which is what R-Truth's doing he's going to try and eliminate Mysterio but Mysterio hanging on still the ring starting to fill up with participants as number 17 William Regal from Blackpool England former bare knuckle fighter has entered the ring and close on to Benoit the technical, technical master William Regal from Blackpool England now grinding Benoit's face into the mat meanwhile wait our truth oh almost gets rid of Ray but Ray hanging on for dear life look at Ray shaking his head refusing to quit that is the heart and look at look at this this is a devastating hold the regal stretch on Chris Benoit the regal stretch applied with force and now speaking of force look at Nash his power AJ trying to fight out of it but oh my goodness thrown over the top rope but feet did not hit the floor like I said gotta have your feet hit the floor to be eliminated but who's next and here comes the other half of the tag team champions for number 18 trouble in paradise Kofi Kingston Kofi now gonna go what he likes to call his controlled frenzy now he's gonna deliver double axe handle to William Regal and the crowd loves to see this here it is boom drop boom drop to William Regal by Kofi Kingston now the tag team champs come face to face are they gonna beat each other up or that's what I thought wise the tag team champions gonna team up now and they're teaming up on number one Chris Jericho gonna try and eliminate him man time flies already another entrant gonna enter the match momentarily but who's it gonna be Oh, and is this freak? Well, he had a strong showing in the pre-Rumble Battle Royal. The Boogeyman in the ring now. Oh, look at Nash and AJ just looking on at this being. I can't really call him a human. He's not really that, is he? What the, what the hell is this? Okay, now I'm a bit weirded out as well, but Nash immediately el eliminates Boogeyman. And I'm not going to put up with that. Boogeyman immediately eliminated but for some reason he's going under the ring I don't know why I can't uh, I can't explain anything the Boogeyman does but nevertheless let's get back to the match at hand fierce shots to the back of William Regal by Chris Benoit and now Kofi Kingston and Our truth team up on Chris Jericho punches to the face of Jericho but who is coming out next oh and this man this man who has some explaining to do the 
past several weeks, he has attacked Randy Orton, and that's the crowd response he gets, outright booze. He's attacked Randy Orton because he cast him a shot at the world title in the Elimination Chamber, and that was over two months ago, so you know this man holds a grudge. The tag team champions try and attack Batista, but a spinebuster to our truth instead. And now Benoit, you got to turn around, kid. Oh, what a spear by Batista. And now AJ. Is he going to try and eliminate Batista? But oh, he miscalculated that. And he's hung up in the ropes. And Batista tosses Styles out like a rag doll. Styles ain't going to WrestleMania. Batista's ended his dream. And while Rey Mysterio tries to eliminate William Regal, Batista continues his destruction. But who's going to be number 21 in the Royal Rumble? And here he is. And here he is tonight making his NLW debut. Quote the Raven, nevermore. I've been looking forward to this man's debut. I've been a fan of his for a long time, but he is finally here in No Limits Wrestling. Raven takes his leather jacket off. And Raven... Oh, and it makes an immediate impact, eliminating our truth Raven eliminates our truth immediately, and already this is his debut match in NLW. And what's Raven going to do now? He delivers the Raven effect. The Raven effect DDT to Jericho, and now Raven going to assert his dominance, perhaps, as he goes after Kevin Nash. Oh, Regal, look at that. Look at the way he's got... Mysterio hung up in the ropes in that regal stretch while Batista attacks Carlito. Raven's going to be an exciting prospect here in NLW. So many more debuts here to come tonight. But who is number 22 in the Rumble? What? Wait a minute. Oh no, it can't be. The crowd's going crazy, I recognise the music, but is he here? Yes he is! I... I'm speechless! Sting is in NLW! The crowd erupts! Sting is here! And he's just entered the Royal Rumble! This is unbelievable. Oh my god, Sting, what a rampage is going on now. Sting debuting in NLW. And he goes after Carlito now. Oh no, wait a minute. And the Scorpion death drop. I never expected this. But look at this. Oh my goodness. Sting a splash. Sting is in NLW and the crowd erupts with excitement and eliminates William Regal. I cannot believe it. He stands tall in the middle of the ring. And I do not envy whoever has to face Sting right now. Number 23, who is it? Oh my god. What a face-off this is going to be. The Undertaker. Vow to win the Royal Rumble and go to WrestleMania. But he has a pretty huge obstacle stood right in front of him right now. This is a dream matchup. It's been talked about for years. But we're going to see it right now. Sting and Undertaker face to face and now they brawl the crowd has waited years to see this and now they're beating the hell out of each other and they lock up Sting trying to eliminate Undertaker Undertaker trying to eliminate Sting almost does but Sting back in control and the Undertaker shoves Sting into Carlito but Taker tries to eliminate Sting but instead eliminates Carlito Carlito is gone. 
And Undertaker turn around. What a chop to the chest by Sting. Now both men run at each other and the icons collide. A double clothesline. My goodness. But who's number 24 now? Well, here he comes. Another man on a wave of momentum heading into the Royal Rumble tonight. Comes face to face with all the men in this matchup. Look at Kevin Nash. Look around him. Is anyone going to try and take him out? And he eliminates Nash. Obviously not. I don't blame those superstars for being reluctant to get involved and what a knockout punch. Y2J knocked out in a chokeslam to Raven. He's got Batista throttled by the throat. And so has Kofi. We're going to see a double chokeslam but Benoit and Ray attack Batista as well. Attacking Big Show in the corner but Show powers out of it. That is 500 pounds, tossing away almost a thousand. Who's going to come face to face with the Big Show and feel his wrath? Oh well, following Big Show's victory in the Battle Royal, the Great Carly came face to face with the Big Show and sent a massive message that he would eliminate the Big Show, but can he follow up on his word and do so tonight? Talk about a gargantuan stare down, literally. And now they lock up the two beasts. They weigh over 900 pounds combined. And the knockout punch does not affect the great Carly. But a massive chop to the head. A massive chop to the head of Big Show, but Carly misses with the clothesline. And oh my god, look at the strength of the Big Show to lift him up and a power slam. Good lord. That is a power slam right there. Great Carly is in trouble. And the big show from behind eliminates the Great Carly. Unbelievable power to eliminate the Great Carly. And oh look at that. The entire roster sneaks up behind the big show and the entire matchup has just eliminated the big show. Well. He always looks like a happy giant, but I'm sure he's not happy after that. Who's number... Number 26 now. The Masterpiece. Making his way to the ring. And now he goes right after Rey Mysterio. The smallest man in this matchup. He tries to choke him out. To get him over the top rope. Meanwhile, Raven slaps to Sting's face. And now, has him held in the corner. Meanwhile, Benoit trying to eliminate Kofi, and he's close. But Jericho and Batista wisely going to team up to take out The Undertaker and ramming his head against the arena wall. While Masters tries to eliminate Ray, Ray delivers a DDT. And now as the match fills up even more, Raven trying to eliminate Sting, but to no avail. Jericho has The Undertaker tightly gripped in that headlock. But now... Benoit ramming the knee into the back and spine of Kofi Kingston. Masters is in trouble. Rey Mysterio beating the hell out of him with fierce shots to the face. Raven with the knee and Raven wants to cement his legacy here tonight as would Sting as well. Sting's been everywhere but has never been in NLW. Batista looks on as Jericho beats up The Undertaker but who is next? Who is it? Oh my! And you see the look of concern on Batista's face. He threw Randy Orton off the stage. He speared him through the pod. And he also speared him through the barricade. Randy Orton is out for vengeance against Batista, but first he has to get his way past all the other competitors and clotheslines to Benoit and Ray. And an RKO out of nowhere to... Chris Jericho and that leaves Randy Orton to face Batista oh wait not before Raven can get a hold of him Raven gonna deliver the Raven effect to Randy Orton but Orton throws him over the top 
Orton eliminates Raven just flew him threw him right out of the ring and now Batista from behind and a spear to Randy Orton Batista's gonna go after Randy Orton but Orton fights back and it's a brawl a fierce all-out brawl here in the Royal Rumble between Batista and Randy Orton they've waited months to get a real hand on each other and look at Randy Orton choking out Batista for all he's done to Randy Orton I'm getting ahead of myself here comes number 28 Mr. Kennedy a win in the Rumble tonight would be a he is a dark horse but nevertheless he could win it and eliminates Kofi Kingston already so what I mean is a sneaky individual a brash loudmouth arrogant young man and well you have to be tries to punk out the Undertaker but Undertaker having none of it had him throttled by the throat but Kennedy instead with the mic check to the Undertaker and you see Ray trying to eliminate Sting I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon and you see Randy Orton still choking out Batista and now Kennedy with a knee to the face of Jericho we're almost out of wrestlers only two more to go and number 29 in two seconds will come out of here and Alberto Del Rio certainly has the luck of the draw number 29 and that's gonna put him in an excellent position to win this and he goes after the man who's been in this match for half an hour goes after Benoit and has the cross arm breaker on Benoit he can tap all he likes but it's not gonna mean anything and look at Ray Ray goes immediately after Alberto Del Rio this is after earlier tonight Rey Mysterio was beaten by Del Rio in the Intercontinental Championship match and now Ray's gonna take his frustrations out on him Ray gonna go after Del Rio wants to eliminate him it'll make him happy and now Ray runs at Del Rio but instead goes over the top Del Rio dodged the bullet and Sting backdrops Ray onto the hard concrete floor and it's a real damn shame but look at this Del Rio dodged it but the height Rey Mysterio went right over the top rope and it looks as if Rey Mysterio's dream of headlining Wrestlemania will not come true this year Sting has the headlock applied onto Alberto Del Rio but 29 men who's number 30 no way the crowd is stunned we recognize that music we've already seen one incredible return tonight is there gonna be another he's taking his time but he's here the game Triple H is an NLW the crowd reacts crazy suck it Triple H is here the entire match everyone in this match stares down the game Triple H is here and he's got number 30 but he eliminates Chris Masters unbelievable Triple H is here close line to Batista and to Benoit <clears throat> I can't even believe it and what a spine buster to Mr. Kennedy Triple H is back and he's better than ever the crowd can't believe it but oh wait a minute well he's just run into a brick wall otherwise known as the Phenom he stares down Triple H and he's got him throttled by the throat but the game reverses are we going to see a pedigree now pedigree to the Undertaker but Sting up and a clothesline to Triple H two massive returns one huge debut all this and more in the Royal Rumble now that everyone's entered we're down to the final nine men I think nine men left in this match and oh wait a minute number one and two almost gone simultaneously 
Meanwhile, Sting with clubbing blows to Triple H. And Batista trying to eliminate Randy Orton. Would love to do so. One-upsmanship deal here. Randy Orton almost out. Meanwhile, Jericho and Benoit are on the apron. Number one and two, respectively. Oh, my goodness. This is tense. They're in a teeterous position. And look at Benoit. Oh, and he's almost eliminated Jericho. The first man to drop from that apron will be the loser. And Oh, my goodness. Look at Benoit. He's hanging. He's hanging from the apron. And now he's even lower. Oh, my goodness. This is dangerous. His feet have almost hit the floor. Jericho is being held by Benoit. Benoit refuses to let go. Which one of these men is leaving? And oh my goodness, Del Rio out of nowhere. Oh, and that's a damn shame. Jericho and Benoit are eliminated. And look at that smug smile, it says it all. I really dislike Del Rio, as you know. And it's in the rules, but it's just... It's a damn shame because Jericho and Benoit, arguably, are the two hardest working men in the company, especially in this match. Del Rio eliminates both of them, but Triple H from behind eliminates Alberto Del Rio, and he gets a taste of his own medicine. My goodness, what a matchup this is, and we're down to the final six competitors. Triple H, Batista, Randy Orton, Mr. Kennedy, Undertaker and Sting are all that remain. Meanwhile, Sting has a hold of The Undertaker. Triple H, Kennedy down. Sting trying to eliminate the dead man. And look at Batista, he's eyeing up Randy Orton. It's Orton going over. But instead Batista does, but he hangs on to the apron. Batista lucky escape there he hangs on to the apron but Randy Orton with an RKO and Batista's gone the animal is gone and he cannot believe it He's, you see those eyes that's how much this means to him and now we're down to the final five Sting, The Undertaker, Triple H, Mr. Kennedy and Randy Orton which one of these five is going to wrestle me? Wait a minute, what the hell is this? Batista are back in. Randy Orton is Randy Orton's eliminated and oh no. Now Batista cannot let go. Continuing to beat up Randy Orton and those eyes, those psychotic eyes. Oh my goodness, he's busted his eye open. He's probably broken his nose and what a spear. This is disgusting. Batista, a jealous fit of rage, beating up Randy Orton for the fourth time. The fourth time, and a spinebuster to the outside. Batista cannot let go of the fact that Randy Orton cast in the world title. So he ends Randy Orton's dream once again. And it's disgusting, quite frankly. But nevertheless, both of those men are gone. And we're down to the final four. Sting, Mr. Kennedy, Triple H and The Undertaker. Which one of these four men's going to WrestleMania? We're going to find out now. Sting with clubbing blows to Mr. Kennedy. And Undertaker with a flurry of shots to the, directed to the face of Triple H. My throat is parched. I've been talking for 40 minutes. But this match is incredible. Sting... Oh, goes after Kennedy, but Kennedy dodges it. Kennedy has done incredibly well to get to this point. He's going to imitate the Stinger Splash, but goes over, but is not eliminated. You see him flailing his legs, trying to hang on, and he does, but Sting's directly behind him. And a clothesline onto the apron, and Sting eliminates Mr. Kennedy. <coughs> Unbelievable action right here. Now we're down to the final three. Sting, The Undertaker, and Triple H are the only three left in this matchup. One of them goes to WrestleMania. Oh, wait a minute. Undertaker looks at them. Triple H and Sting going to double team The Undertaker, it looks like. What a double DDT. 
Double DDT to The Undertaker. An Undertaker lying on the floor motionless. And now Triple H going to go after Sting. Shots to the face of Sting. And he's helpless at the moment. But Triple H continuing to wail on him. Oh, and now Sting has Triple H throttled by the throat. But Triple H bats him away. Goes for the clothesline, but instead Sting reverses. And is it going to be Scorpion Death Drop to Triple H? Now if he can pick up the game's carcass and throw him over the top rope, he'll be eliminated. But look at this. And look at this, that power, this strength. If he can weaken Triple H, you might be able to get him over in the Scorpion Death Lock. Sharpshooter applied. Sting continuing to wear down Triple H. But Undertaker from behind eliminates Sting. Sting is gone and he is livid. The Undertaker eliminating Sting from behind and we're down to the final two. Triple H or The Undertaker? Who is facing the world champion at WrestleMania? They face off. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Sting from behind drags Undertaker out and what the hell is this about? I thought Sting was better than this I thought he wouldn't hold grudges but he obviously has and he's kicking the crap out of the Undertaker but why Sting? he's jealous he's I never thought he would do this but oh my god sends Undertaker right over the steel steps and un Sting sends a message this is despicable Undertaker's not eliminated he went under the bottom rope but look at this again Sting sends Undertaker right into the steel steps. Sting is an angry man. But I have a feeling this isn't the last we've seen of him. And this isn't the last time Undertaker's going to see him. Meanwhile, Triple H taking advantage of this situation he's been put in. Beating up the Undertaker. And he turns around. Oh my god. We're going to see a choke slam. But Triple H instead reverses. And he delivers it. Pedigree. The pedigree to the dead man. And Triple H. Going to drag him to the ropes. Undertaker hanging on for dear life. He's been in this match longer than Triple H. I know he's almost over but instead. Triple H has a hold of the legs. Undertaker desperately hanging on flailing his legs but Undertaker gonna reverse it oh my Triple H is in trouble and the tombstone tombstone pile driver by the Undertaker and Triple H is laid out flat that is what this is about can Undertaker eliminate Triple H and headline Wrestlemania and he does but Triple H barely hangs on slides back under the bottom rope and I think Undertaker thinks he's won but he has not Triple H taunts him and sends him over the top your winner of the Royal Rumble the game Triple H what a remarkable comeback what a remarkable victory and what a remarkable match he celebrates in the ring while Undertaker looks on, crushed, defeated. Look at the replay of this, it was back and forth. Triple H with the pedigree, Undertaker with the tombstone. He finally eliminated Triple H, but to no avail. Undertaker goes over the top rope and the game has won the Royal Rumble. That is a face of a man who's lost everything. But Triple H has won. And he's going to NLW WrestleMania to face the World Heavyweight Champion. Unbelievable match, unbelievable night. The Undertaker's crushed. He celebrates. He's going to the main event. Undertaker could not believe it, but the game is back in NLW.